So we'll have a quick look here. I'll come back another day. Have a look inside. Now the question is, is it all perpendicular or have they messed around with it? And the answer is they have messed around with it. Because it looks early English. Early English decorated actually. But the the way the steeple's done suggests that it's it's a previous style. But it is very ornate and rather beautiful. Yes, that's a stunning, uh, stunning little tower in beautiful condition. How nice is that? St Mary's. Right, well we'll have a look at that one as well later and see what it says. This is the ideal bike for the, uh, for this for that sort of thing. If you have any interest in old buildings, these little lightweights are fantastic. You just pop them into a corner; doesn't get in anyone's way. For sale, a pile of earth for sale. Well, if you look on a map, uh, uh, you know, when you look at the, the weather system uh, on the BBC or whatever, they always show the River Severn and there's a little dog leg in it, a 90 degree bend, where the river flows past uh, quite hard rock and, and that turns it into a sort of bend. let these people go they don't want to wait for me and where this road takes you down to that uh, the tip of that bend in the River Severn and that must be the Severn crossing that tower line and I look at it and I see it's 132,000 volts. You can tell that by the number of porcelains on the insulator string. So there's a seven crossing down here. There'd be a tall tower, I dare say. Ah, oh, there it is. I can see it. Double height uh, tower. It's only only a single uh, single circuit. Three phases. Usually they have three phases uh, on either side. Well, it's a very pleasant road. Thankfully, it's quiet, very quiet, because we're only doing about 15 or 16 miles an hour. Just to have a quick look. There's a lot of field maple trees here, I've noticed. Obviously they like this part of the world. There's one there with an ash tree behind it.
Okay, where does that go? Milton End. Well, plenty of little lanes to explore at some point. And this is just the bike I like for this sort of thing. It's so easy to manoeuvre. Better pick up speed if we've got to do 30. We're only doing 20. Milton End Barn. Oh. Footpath. Arlingham. Lovely trees. They look like plain trees. Could be wrong. It's nearly all ash down here. There's a forest on the other side of the Severn. You can see where the hill comes up. I don't think it's the Forest of Dean, but it uh, might be part of it. Caravans spoiling the view. St Augustine's Farm. Well, this is a long section of grass, too. A lot of water reed on, on the left there. And here it shows we're sort of close to marshland. Yeah, that water reed looks in quite nice condition. You could use that for, for a, a small thatching. As I have done in the past. The lorry turning around. Yes, uh, this is definitely on that dog leg on the map. Uh, this must be the longest road in that section of the Severn. And I would guess that when we get to the bottom, uh, there is a pub there, I believe, and um, the road will stop. But there should be a dog leg very close by where the River Severn flows past some hard rocks which uh, would be on my left not sure what those rocks would be uh, Triassics probably we're, we're off of the uh, uh, oops the Jurassic as soon as you come down the hill off of the Cotswolds um, you, after a mile or so, you, you leave the Jurassic Plain and and you start on a, on the Triassic. I 
think we're at the end of the road. And there's the River Severn in front of us. And the tide is out, as you can see. Look at that lovely barge over there. Beached at the moment because the tide's out. church on the other side. I think Newant um, is, is on the other side. That town I think is called Newant but I could be wrong. This is really rather nice. I think we'll stop the bike. go and have a look. Careful where I walk. Well this is a, a flood plain here. And you can see there's a berm here on the left which would stop the floods uh, going back up. Possibly that's uh, man-made oh, there's some uh, rock on the other side and it's quite red which means it's got a lot of iron in it quicksand fast incoming tides and quicksand beware strong currents well I will right well as I mentioned that if, if when you next time you see a map showing the weather go up the the seven estuary and you'll see that kink and this is it and you can see the bend in the river here bends to the left at that end and then it goes back to the right at that end so this sort of sticks out and I'd quite like to go and investigate that side sometime but the problem is crossing the seven is not that easy I can just hear the church bell ringing. There we are. There's there's where the clock tower is up there, Westminster Chimes, no less. And I don't need the, uh, well it's modern, I mean obviously Westminster Chimes in a church is modern so um, I can see, well you won't because of the wide angle lens but it's a Victorian church with a Victorian clock system. Really rather nice isn't it? With the tide out. Gosh, the, the bells are still hard at it. Perhaps someone's over there doing a bit of ringing. <laughs> 